Braun is in that GOAT argument to where you could just say he might be the GOAT. You know, his longevity, the records he's had. I mean, yeah, it's who you like, whatever area you play in, whatever. But Braun has a serious argument. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everyone? Thank you all for stopping by Towns In. We sit at the bar, have a drink if you like, and just chop it up. Now, that was surprising, you know, to see Paul Pierce, the truth, on the Draymond Green podcast. And it was also surprising to see Paul Pierce talk that way about LeBron. And it had me wondering and thinking, why would those two come together and talk about LeBron and, and that topic? Oh, and then I thought, Draymond getting that clutch money. <laughs> Yo, Draymond getting that clutch bag. That's why it happened. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, though, all jokes aside, it was surprising um, to hear Paul Pierce talk like that about LeBron. Because in the past, it has seemed as though that Paul Pierce, like, man, Paul Pierce, yo, you'll be hating, man. Paul Pierce is hating on LeBron. And even when it comes to D-Wade, like, yo, you hating, but... After watching the interview and stuff, it it changed up my perspective, and I, I kind of understood why Paul Pierce said the things um, that he said. So y'all should check it out. But in regards to the goat debate, you know, traditionally, when a person feels as though someone is a goat, regardless who you feel is a goat, people don't stand on that, and they they won't change. They won't change up at all because. It's like, yo, no, that's my GOAT. And it's nothing. I've never seen a debate. I've never seen a, a, a presentation of facts that will call someone and be like, you know what? Yeah, that's not my GOAT anymore. That's the GOAT. Like, that never happens, right? So, and and the whole thing about the debate when it comes to GOATs, because it will always be a debate, it's like, what's the criteria? The way I look at it, what is the criteria, right? Is it based on how many championships you, you won? Um... Like, is it like with your accolades, you know, uh, your longevity? Like, what do we use to, like, base our argument on it? I, and I think a lot of times that all changes depending on, you know, who, who your goat is, right? So when it came to Paul Pierce, I was surprised. It was eye-opening because he never had LeBron up there. And it's rare that you see someone kind of change their tune when it comes to stuff especially if it's a person that is your peer you used to play against this guy you shared the court with this guy and you felt that you were better than this guy but now to say like yo he may be the goat that was very eye-opening to me right because he mentioned that you know after lebron won on um, with the lakers in a bubble that put him at number two right but then when he started getting you know when it is scoring uh, titles and just different awards and he's still doing his thing that he just might be in that, that conversation for real. And I was like surprised to hear that because at the end of the day, I've, I've said this before, right? Whether you like LeBron or not, it's, it's, it's difficult for me to be like, you can't, it's a crime to put this, <laughs> it's a crime to put this man in a goat conversation. Like whether you think he's a goat or not, I don't think it's a crime for people to even have that conversation, but a lot of people feel as though if if you say anything about LeBron in regards to Mike, it's just blasphemous. And like I don't feel that way. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. I mean, the dude been putting in work for over twenty like twenty some years, and I think whenever he retires, people will look back and like, you know what? Nah, LeBron went crazy. He was going crazy. I, it kind of happens like that a lot. You know, when we're in the midst of something and we see what's going on and we, we're experiencing it in real time, a lot of times we don't appreciate it. But, you know, then again, maybe people won't ever appreciate it and be like, all right, nah, I ain't never liked LeBron anyway. So it is what it is, man. Yo, you all let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, Y'all go check out the podcast. Yo, let me know what you think in the comment section, you know, like, share, all that. And if you decide you don't want to do any of that, just come back. Like Craig said. Hey, come back. Come back. All right. Y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. All right. Peace.